Once your Tempbox Classic 2.0 is installed as per our installation video, opening it is simple. First, undo the two buckles at one side and push the top shell. Then, do the same on the other side. The gas drops will do the rest of the work for you. Before getting your ladder, first pull the skirt down around the outside edge like this. The ladder can live inside the temp box or in the back of the car. The best way to attach the ladder is to first connect it to the spring pins, then remove the Velcro and extend it. You should extend it from the top rung first, making sure each rung locks into place before extending the next. You should try to make sure the ladder is as vertical as possible as this is when the ladder is at its strongest. In other words, don't lock out additional rungs if they are not needed. To close the ladder, start from the bottom and push these two toggles inwards. The rung above will collapse, so push upwards and then repeat the process until the ladder is fully closed and then apply the Velcro. These elastic cords should be in a cross shape across the tent and should be removed before using your tent box. You can store them in one of the pockets to keep them safe. Remember, your pillows and sleeping bags, or duvet, can stay inside the tent box when it's closed, meaning your bed is ready for you as soon as you pop it open. Underneath the mattress, you'll find the porch bowl bag. Use these to prop open the side doors to create a porch. To use these safely, first slot them fully into the base. You'll notice that they go in at an angle, facing away from the center. Then, bend them up and hook them into the metal eyelets on the doors. The windows at the end can be rolled down like this. The side doors can be rolled up like this, using the plastic toggles to secure them in place. The light bar that comes with your tent box can be slotted into these holders, where you can spin it around to change the angle. To operate the light, press the end button to cycle through the settings, and then when you're on a setting, you can press and hold the button to adjust the brightness. The light bar can also be used to charge your phone. Just remember to charge the light before you head out on a tent box trip. It also has magnets for attaching it to your car to light up your camp area. As with all enclosed spaces, condensation buildup can occur. This heavily depends on how many people are inside the tent box, the outside temperature and the humidity. The best way to prevent condensation is ventilation. To increase ventilation in the tent box classic, you can open the end windows slightly like this. Even if it's raining, rain will not get in as the top shell offers protection. You can also roll up the internal side door which provides ventilation through the bottom. When closing your tent box, do your best to remove any water buildup on the fabric. You can do this by bashing the side of the fabric to knock the water off, and also by opening the windows to let it air out for five to 10 minutes before packing it away. If it's raining and you need to leave, it's also okay to pack it away wet. Just make sure you open it up again within 24 hours to stop the water from festering. Before closing it away for longer than 24 hours, you should make sure it's fully dry. Before you close it, Make sure the end windows are open slightly, as this allows air to escape and makes closing it down easier. Also, attach the elastic cords in a cross shape inside the tent, as these help pull the fabric inside as you close it. Close the ladder down and put it inside the tent box or the boot of your car. Using the pull handle, pull one side of the tent down. Then, loosely apply the two buckles on that side to prevent it from popping back open. Repeat this on the other side. Then, walk around the tent box making sure all of the fabric is tucked in. Once all of the fabric is tucked away neatly, you can fully tighten the buckles at both ends like this. Then, you're ready to start driving. We recommend keeping your tent box on all year round so that you're ready for adventure. But, if you do want to store it, you can store it on its side. Just make sure to put something on the ground to protect the shell. In terms of care, aside from never packing it away wet for longer than 24 hours, we also advise cleaning the fabric with warm water once a year and then reproofing it with a standard tent reproofer. As always, if you need any support with your tent box, just reach out to our friendly and experienced team of product specialists.